What's going on YouTubers? In today's video, we're going to be talking about media replacement in motion graphic templates or MOGUTs announced in the Adobe 2021 update. With the new media replacement, you can create a MOGUT template and be able to replace media inside it, whether it's an image or a video file, which in my opinion will save you loads of time in your video production. So we are going to do exactly that in After Effects first, and then see the final results in Premiere Pro. So I have a template which I downloaded from Envato Elements. I'll give the link in the description. And if you use my link, uh, you can get a discount on your first month subscription with Envato as well. So without further ado, let's jump in. So once you're in After Effects, um, note that I'm using the beta version of the uh, 2021 After Effects. What you need to do, just make sure that you are actually, you have enabled the enable media replacement in motion graphic templates um if you don't have this this what i'm going to show you later on is not going to work so make sure that this is enabled if it's not enabled and you are enabling it for the first time if you tick it it will ask you that um it's going to close the after effects and you have to restart the program which is absolutely fine but make sure that you have saved all your work before doing so so um, I am using a template, as I said in the intro, um, I'm using a template from Envato Elements and I'm going to go into, let's say, um, I'm going to go into maybe Sponsor 3, I think I'm going to use this block actually here as my example. Um, so this is an example um, when you go in here, what you need to do is go to the Sponsored logo okay and you will see that there is nothing actually here at the moment so what i'm going to do um is i'm going to bring in a um an image uh file which is my channel uh logo uh, you can bring in whatever you like you can bring in any kind of media so i'm just going to do that so i'm going to drag that in here on my timeline and i'm going to press s um so that i can scale it down a bit um i think that should be fine or let's just do something like this i think that should be fine now this is once you've brought an image or a media file here this is where the most important work actually begins so you need to um, go to window and click on essential graphics um, this will open up the essential graphics panel um, and in the primary where it says primary select a composition um, I'm gonna go into remember I selected the sponsored three um, I'm just gonna go into the sponsored three template and actually make that one as my uh, primary and so I'm just gonna name it as the same as my channel GFX capture you can give it any name uh, you want and then you just drag in the media file that you have selected previously um, and just drag it there um, you can change the name here as well uh, media file um, or I can just call it um, I don't know something like image okay now when you go back into the sponsored three or at least in my case it's sponsored three you go into composition uh, sorry um you look on your right hand side here and the picture i was supposed to have here is actually white it's a white tri uh, rectangle um this is because um there must be a fill somewhere on it and if we see here yep yeah, there you go so there is a fill on it what you do is you just drag and drop fill and I'm gonna rename it to uh, fill on or actually no just just leave it as fill and then we can switch it on or off from here okay oops there you go okay off on off on okay there's also um, what you can also do is I'm gonna you can also bring the the color and on the color there's just notice that there is a expression attached to it as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable the um, the expression first of all there's two ways of two ways of disabling it one is that you press uh, click on the equal sign and it will disable it the second one is you press and hold alt and click on the stopwatch okay that will disable it as well um, once you disable it it goes to the default red color but that's okay because we can change it later on and I'm just gonna so this is saying 
This property is controlled by an expression, which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna rename it to fill color. Okay, so if I switch this on, it's gonna be red. Okay, because that color is red. You can change it to any other color you want. Um, but because I don't want the fill, I'm gonna switch it off. Okay, the same way you can bring in the position as well. So I'm gonna bring the position and I'm gonna bring the scale so that you can actually change the scale if you want. Uh, there you go. So you can, you can either do that make it 100 you can also uh, bring the rotation it just depends on what you want or what you're trying to design um, as an end product so if you want rotation I'll just bring the rotation in as well and I can you know you can rotate it um, you can you can play around with it if, if you need to okay now the other thing I want to do is um, obviously you may or may not depending on the template that you're using or where you've downloaded it from you may want to also change this text as well here just underneath the um, the media file so this is sponsored by this is the the text um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the the source text here and you can you can change it to whatever you like I'm just going to put in something like ABC Company Limited. Okay, um, you can also change the properties of this text as well. So I'm gonna just enable all of them, just so that it's easy for me later on to make any changes I I want. And I'm gonna click on OK. Next, I'm gonna bring in the the color as well, but the color I'm gonna uh, disable the expression. So and as I said earlier on, um, it will go to red by default. But that's okay. We can change it. Okay, I'm going to change it to something like blue. Okay, and it changes. You can um, obviously switch the, uh, the, 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 the fill effect um, on or off, um, in which case it will then go back to white. If it's on, if it's off, it will go to the color that you have chosen. Actually, I'm going to make it a bit more visible. That should be fine. Okay. And then you can bring the opacity as well here if, if you need to. So the other thing is you may have noticed the is, is this little icon here. I call it the, the Darth Vader icon. Um, if you click on it, it will show you all the hidden layers um, within your composition as well. So you may, depending on, on your template, of course, um, this is a BG, it's a background uh, layer, so I can actually just delete that. So now I know that there's nothing behind it um, and my composition or my logo here, the box is, is transparent. Also, uh, the square that I have here, when you select it, it will actually show you what you have selected. Um, so you can change the, the characteristics. I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna go and change the effects of this um, so I'm gonna bring in the the mask here oh. um, and I'm gonna call it fill okay and obviously I'm gonna disable it and I'm gonna bring in the color as well so that I can later on play around with it if I need to I don't know something like this whatever color okay doesn't matter opacity you can bring in actually the opacity here as well um, so let's say um, opacity you can change the opacity if you want okay you can make it 100 I'm just gonna make it zero so it's it's like this okay this rectangle line um, when you select it you know it's the the outer um, square I'm not sure why it's called rectangle line because to me it looks like a square anyway so I'm gonna go into the fill and then obviously I can see um, there's a there's an expression and there's a fill so I'm gonna bring in the fill as we did for the others and I'm gonna say okay and we're gonna also disable that um, first and bring in the color 
Oops, where did that go? Ah, oh, it went to the top. So we're just going to call it outside color. Okay, and then I'm going to change it to something like green. Okay, there you go. You can bring in the opacity. You can bring in whatever um, other parameters that you 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 want. So I'm just going to bring in the opacity just for the sake of it, anyway. Okay. Let it go. It went on to the top, but I need it here. Oh no, that's right. Sorry, my mistake. This is the opacity. Ah, oh, that's the opacity there. Okay, so I can change the opacity of the outside box anyway, but you got the idea. Okay, the only other thing I want to bring in is obviously the um, the position and the scale. It's best to actually bring the position. Okay, um, and then the the scale as well because scale you may want to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, now the last thing we need is um, just to pre-compose all of this. So what you need is select all of this, right click, and then go to pre-compose. Um, give it a pre-comp one name or whatever you want, it's up to you, and click OK. Now this will basically make a composition for you. And what I want to do now is finally is just before going to creating it as a mogut, um, I'm going to uh, export or I'm going to drag in the position. Um, and I'm also going to uh, bring the, the scale as well. So that you can in your Premiere Pro, um, you can change the position and the scale of it as well of the whole composition. Okay. So now you can change this like that, or you can change the scale, blah, blah, blah. You can, you can do exactly the same with opacity and rotation and any other properties as you need. Once you're happy with it, save it. And then click on export motion graphics template. It will ask you where you want to save it. I just want to save it in my local uh, templates folder. You can put in any keywords as well, um, uh, but that's optional. Okay, that's it. Now you go to your Premiere Pro, but remember you're going to Premiere Pro Beta for now. Okay, so I have my uh, template clip that I downloaded from Envato Elements, and I'm just going to search in my essential graphics. Um, I'm just going to search in for GFX capture because that was the name I saved that template with and there you go so you just bring it in like that and you play the video and that's how it's going to come up now obviously you can click on it and you can change the position you can change all the other parameters that you need um, so it's totally up to you Okay, there you go. I can change anything I want. I can change the position. I can change the scale. Um, I can change any opacity. That would be better if I just increase this. Um, okay, and I'm going to leave that as is. Make that bright enough. Okay, so this is all it. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something uh, from this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment, uh, please like, please share. And uh, we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.